So you're looking for that tent that you can always be carrying in your pack. It's going to be light in this case, it's only one kg, and you want a little bit of flexibility where you could turn it in from a single person, maybe even to a two person uh, shelter. So look, if this interests you, then please follow along as I show you the Indy one from Intense. Here we go, folks. So this is probably a little bit different for Outdoorsman Dave because I'm indoors and there's a pretty good reason for that that I'm four days into having COVID and uh, today is um, sadly the first time I've even had my head clear enough and so it's becoming almost essential to always carry um, a backup shelter because you turn up the huts are full unless you've been able to book them or in the case of me and I'm a very light sleeper and if there's someone snoring in the hut I tend to end up dragging my mat out on the deck and sleeping outside and uh, that's where a tent comes in over the years um, as I've got a bit older um, I've had to try to lighten up my load so when I first uh, started hiking, I started off with uh, Marmot, and you'll see Marmot in a lot of um, videos. Now she is sitting up at uh, 3.2 kgs, a beautiful tent, but just sadly a little bit heavy to be carrying around just in case um, I can't get a, a bed. So Marmot is being looked at to be replaced. Back in the days when Kiwi Camping actually had their own uh, business in Hamilton, um, I bought this um, Kiwi Camping Solo. It's a bivvy type tent and I'll show you a photo of it um, up here. And um, she's 1.5 kg, but sadly um, I loaned this out recently and, and due to a storm it, um, it came back broken and uh, sadly Kiwi Camping um, just aren't in a position to assist with the broken poles on that one so that one's gone as well now you would have seen this one a lot of this is my Kiwi Camping Pukeko I absolutely love this tent it's a, it's a solo <coughs> but, you, but I have slept two people in it quite often um, but sadly Pukeko sitting on 2.1, 2.2 kgs so once again, just a little bit heavy to be carrying around. In comes Intense Outdoors. So after extensive research, just trying to find a tent sitting somewhere under 1.5 down to 1 kg, um, I came up with the Indy one person tent. Um, now I have had a birthday in July and so um, I've received, I've purchased a lot of stuff for myself um, but in some cases I've had some assistance <coughs> Sorry, that's just for my boss to prove that I'm still really crook um, There are some instances <coughs> where I've been assisted with um, less than retail prices and that's why this video will need to be tagged with um, an ad uh, This is ND1 and um, I need to test this out before I go on my um, hike soon But this puppy only weighs in at 1 kg What is a little unusual about it is um, It doesn't have any poles as such so you, you use your hiking pole I don't tend to carry hiking poles, so I purchased their, um, their graphite pole. So collectively, that still only comes in at um, 1 kg. So we'll be seeing more of this puppy and a lot more of my future videos. Lately, you would have seen that if I'm uh, doing solo overnight hikes and I think it's going to rain I've been putting my fly tent up and to date I've been using um, once again Kiwi Camping I find them a very good company um, a 3x3 three three, and I absolutely love the quality of this fly 
sadly this fly weighs in at around about 1.2 kg and that just makes it a pretty hefty fly to carry as a backup bivy or in my case um, to have almost like a veranda over top of your uh, tent so I've also replaced that with this has come from Intense as well and this was a purchase this is a 3x3 three three, and unbelievably this weighs in at only 580 grams now what I've still got to make up with this fly is I've got to make up the uh, guy rope so um, I've got um, a whole cordage of 2 mil pretty much what I wanted to talk about um, initially and then we're going to go out and I'm going to set this tent up for the first time. Let's have a look at the Indy 1. So I put this up last night, this was the first pitch literally that I have ever done. It uh, wasn't straightforward, um, it has quite an interesting um, floor or bathtub design but this is what it looks like when it's pitched. It's been here overnight and I've had a look inside and there's uh, no water. It did rain overnight. It has these um, ventilations. I'm a little surprised that there's not some kind of um, spacer that holds it open. Um, but I'm yet to test that out in terms of the condensation. Effectively, it's like a dual wall. Um, well, before I open it up, you will notice um, there's quite a lot of distance between the ground and uh, the fly. They say that that is to assist with the airflow. Um, personally, I think it's probably got something to do with reducing the material weight, keeping this down um, under one kg. This fly is um, it's a ripstop material. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's got these nice little um, pull tags and to keep the door closed. So the doors roll back, um, as does this other one. It has a, a tab there as well. I would have liked to have seen uh, this loop a little bit smaller just to hold that a lot more under tension. But hey, that's not a biggie. The fly has a PU of um, 20. D, um, so it's kind of like got the silicon coating underneath it and it's ripstop material so it's nylon and that gives it a hydrostatic head uh, rating of I think it's 3000 um, and the bathtub floor is um, has a rating of um, 5,000. What is quite unique about this tent is that there is literally no poles. It's designed to either have one hiking pole which comes in up underneath um, and goes into a sleeve up into here or in my case um, I purchased uh, their uh, graphite pole. I think that was about $35. Has two zip doors and um, so it's really good because you could open this right up and then once you take um, the vestibule fly back that would just open you right up. I might do that later on. So this whole tent is tensioned effectively by this one pole. Um, inside there is um, a nice little um, holder, I guess that's where I'll be putting my phone and battery chargers. And there is enough room, as you can see, down the side um, for my gear. All of the corners appeared to be seam sealed. There were certainly no leaks last night. And there's even a little um, lantern hook the top here. Okay, so just being in now, um, I am just under six foot. Um, I have a little bit of headroom. There's not a lot. This is a ground sheet, and um, that also has a bungee tensioner. But I just really like the way that everything lines up so that it can come onto the same peg. Once again, this has got a tensioner. 
and once again uh, this all fits on and this has so it just it's just a really nice efficient setup um, there are one two three guy ropes um, and you can see on the inside these have all been reinforced everything has been reinforced at all of these points now this is a dual pitch but when I purchased it it was already um, had the mesh connected to the fly but you could actually set the fly up first and then clip uh, the mesh in underneath so that's what it looks like what do you think Bentley you like it don't you yeah can't wait for us to go camping to get on this one well that's the delightful thing about nature it just throws a little bit of unpredictability at you I wasn't expecting that rain so this is the Orson fly um, so it's only 580 grams and it's got these um, on all four corners it's got these lovely uh, tie-off points as well so I've just had to make these guy wraps up now um, in my situation today I've put this carabiner and I've put that onto a, um, a prosic knot on this 2 mil guy line which is probably a little bit thin um, and then the, I've got another um, carabiner in the middle and another prusik knot to tension the fly at either side. What I really like about this sill nylon fly is uh, the amount of tie off points so there's a uh, one in the middle here which just allows me to tie this off and hold it off uh, the tent. So this is an example of uh, why I'm starting to think of doing solo camps with a fly combined with the tent. So if that's only 1kg and that's um, let's say 600 by the time we take in all the bits and pieces. So 1.6kg we've got a, um, a setup which is very flexible. And uh, for today's purposes I've just uh, rigged up this pole in the middle and set it up so the water can pour off either side if it starts raining. Let's say you get caught out, there's two of you and um, you've only got this ND1 between you. You could put up the fly only and you could quite easily get two people and your gear inside of here. You might need to put a, bring another ground sheet but uh, yeah, if you're just a little bit creative, uh, you could make this into a two-person bivvy. Or one person and a dog. So what do you think? Uh, that's the ND1 from Intense Outdoors. And as you can see, it has a bit of flexibility and at 1kg and with a very low price point I think this represents really good value and uh, me and Bentley I reckon we're going to get a lot of use out of this in the future all right well if you haven't done so already you know what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and you can be rest assured that Dave and maybe Jed and friends are going to take you on another wild camp adventure real soon Thank you so much for watching.